Hi you guys, it's another video on my uh, Nexus 7 Asus tablet series that I've uh, started to upload onto YouTube. One of the first things you'll notice uh, if you get a Nexus 7 or you get any device that's running Jelly Bean, uh, a Nexus phone or any of the newer devices that are going to have Jelly Bean on, you'll notice that uh, when you go to your Chrome browser and you come to load, for instance, the desktop uh, YouTube site, your videos won't play because there's no flash enabled uh, player on uh, your tablet or your phone or whatever device you're using. Now, if you've looked through YouTube and you've looked through the uh, various forums, you'll see that it's quite easy to sideload Flash Player 11 onto your device. There's not a problem doing that, and I'll put a link in the annotations below showing you how to do it. Once you've got Flash enabled on your device, you're really then going to want uh, a decent browser to take full advantage of Flash. Now, there are a few browsers that are working in uh, Jelly Bean, Android Jelly Bean 4.1, uh, but quickly uh, today I want to talk about a browser that I found that... Uh, to my mind is absolutely amazing, stacks and stacks of features on it, uh, better than Dolphin Browser, better than uh, ICS Browser Plus that I was using on the S3, which by the way isn't compatible with the uh, Nexus 7, and the browser I'm talking about is a browser called Boat Browser, unusual name but really really good browser, so we'll quickly go into uh, Boat Browser, and I'll talk quickly through a few of the features that are on Boat Browser. As you can see, it's a tab browser, so it's similar to Chrome or Safari, so you can have tabs on the top, you can have quite a few tabs open. They'll show on the bottom bar, so you can have your favourites. There's a back and forward button, which is really handy, and a menu button. There's also a, a little tiny button, narrow button on the side there that you can click that brings up a side uh, customizable toolbar. Now, you can also get this cook toolbar by flicking from the side of the screen. And I'll quickly go through the toolbar, because the toolbar has got stacks and stacks of really useful features. So we'll open the toolbar. At the top of the toolbar, there's a little... Uh, header saying customize toolbar and all these features you can add or take away you can have as many features you want in the toolbar that's quickly accessible so in the toolbar you can have new tab close tab incognito voice search menu home page day x day or night mode i should say exit copy refresh settings full screen downloads lock screen find on the page help history themes back forward screenshot save page share link user agent windows which are the windows tabs that are open or bookmarks now to add or take away anything into your sidebar, straight away to get rid of anything, we'll do the top one which is share, hold it, drag it to the bin at the top of the page and it'll disappear. To put it back in, do the same thing again, hold it, drag it on the plus symbol at the top and click save and it'll save into the sidebar. Quickly accessible in both uh, landscape and portrait mode, so it's there at the side. Uh, quickly we're going through some of the features. Uh, as you can see at the moment, I've got it tabbed, so we've got the uh, web address bar at the bottom, we've got the quick links at the bottom of the page, and we've also got the sidebar. If we open it again and I want to go full screen, click it full screen, nothing at the bottom, nothing at the top, full screen browsing experience, so you can see the full page in landscape as well, there's nothing interfering, so you've got the full uh, real estate of the screen to use. Uh, quickly accessible to get it off, so there's no need to panic looking for your web bar at the top to type in a web address, exit full screen, and you're back to where you were. Now, <coughs> a couple of features I'll quickly talk about. On this page, you'll notice now that the web content, although I've got Flash on this uh, Nexus 7, is not animated and they're not showing up. Now, this is because in the settings, you've got the options to set the uh, Flash uh, player within this browser to on-demand, always off, or always on. I've got it set to on-demand because the pages load quicker, and it also gives you the option, if you want to play a video feed or Flash content on the page, it gives you the option to turn it on or off. If I click quickly on the uh, flash little symbol there, you can see the banners lit up now and all the flash content on the page, you can see the little MSN uh, logo there is moving around and the video would play. Uh, let's get back out of that quickly. So clicked on another link there. So as you can see when you go back, the flash content asks you to tick it again, so I'll tick it again. Quickly press, enable the content on the page. And you see the on-demand content is uh, loaded again. Uh, very quick to pinch to zoom. Uh, same again in uh, landscape mode. Quick to uh, scroll in and out. Pinch to zoom works perfect. Really, really quick. Really uh, responsive. My screen's a bit sticky. It's quite warm at the moment. So uh, any stutter that you see is not actually the screen. It's my uh, hands are quite damp and uh, hot. Uh, going to the sidebar again, we'll go through a few uh, features that uh, are usable within this uh, browser. Uh, quickly going into menu at the bottom, there's a couple of menu tabs there. You can use the built-in one or you can use the one in the uh, program. 
If you go into settings, a couple of things we'll talk about quickly. Page content settings, user agent. If you go to user agent, you can set it to Android, desktop, iPhone, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, or iPad. Set it to desktop user agent. Uh, it'll stop any uh, mobile web pages loading up and you'll get the full uh, desktop user experience. Uh, go back again, you can see there are uh, flash enabled, I was just talking about, always on, on demand or off, uh, lots of other things you can uh, mess around with. One thing that's really, really useful in this particular browser is text wrapping. Those of you who've got HTC devices will know that when you pinch to zoom, the text reflows on the screen. Those of you who've got uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 will know that there's no text reflow in the main browser page, but if you click on the reader at the top, once the page is loaded in reader it will take the bump off the page and leave the main content you're reading and the pictures then you've got text reflow under reader in uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 so lots of uh, really good features within this, within this browser well worth having a play around with like I say it's free on the uh, Play Store, there's no charge for the browser, it's called Boat Browser, I'll put a link below again uh, let's say flash enabled, plays all the content if you go to uh, a YouTube uh, web page and using a full desktop page, page plays perfect, full screens, zaps in and plays the video full screen perfect, very responsive, the sidebar very useful, stacks of customization, uh, night mode will take you to a night setting where the background will be set to a dark setting as opposed to white, come across again, we'll go back to day mode, the background will revert to uh, normal white mode. Uh, full screen as we talked about before, so you go to full screen mode, share the links, save the page, screenshot, take a screenshot of the set, uh, uh, page, share the screenshot, save the screenshot, loads and loads of features. Uh, so I'll uh, leave it at this point and uh, if you like this video and it's uh, useful to you, we'll work on all uh, Jelly Bean uh, enabled devices, so give it a whirl. Uh, give me a thumbs up uh, below, give me a like and subscribe and I'll get more videos on uh, the series that I'm running on YouTube actually shortly. Uh, the uh, Nexus 7, Samsung Galaxy S3 and the HTC One X. Thanks for watching.